to come your way once again with 30 minutes of word and with prayer. Do well, share the word, share the link, and your life will never be the same. If you're already shouting, and say, I believe. I believe. Send me some fire emojis right now. Hallelujah. Amen. We have been looking at greater glory from Haggai chapter 2, verse number 9, where the Lord said that the glory of this latter house shall be greater than the former. Hallelujah. Amen. I pray that may your end be better than your beginning. Amen. May you end in a climaxing order, not an anticlimaxing order. Amen. I pray that may the Lord end you up on a glorious peak and not a descending dishonor. Amen. Shout your loudest. Amen. Amen. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Greater glory, greater glory, greater glory, greater glory. Ladies and gentlemen, before this prophecy will come in the verse number 9, there was a certain instruction to the prophet who brought the word. The prophet was instructed to go and speak to the people. In the verse number 2, he says, speak to the people. He says, speak to Zerubbabel, speak to, speak to Joshua, the priest, and speak to the remnant of the people. He says, speak to them. Before any glory will come, there must be a word coming ahead of it. Ah... Uh, a word, a word, a word. Before the glory of Peter will come as a fisher of men, there was a word that launched him into the deep for him to cut the greatest bounty and bumper harvest he has ever gathered before. Clap your hands and shout the word. The word. Ladies and gentlemen, until the word came to Peter, Peter remained on a certain level. It was okay for him, but when he entered the next level of greater glory, he realized that Charlie, he was just suffering for nothing. I pray that and may the Lord lead, uh, release you into your greater glory. Amen. May the Lord carry you into your greater glory. Amen. May you be loose and released into your greater glory. Amen. Shout fire three times. Fire. Number two. Fire. Number three. Fire. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, when the word does not come, you may stagnant. Hey. So we see something in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse number 3. You will, you will, you will pray today. Hey, come according. Deuteronomy chapter, chapter 1, verse number 3. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse number 3. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse number 3. And I read, now it came to pass in the 40th year, in the 11th month, on the first day of the month, that he spoke to the children of Israel according to all the things the Lord had given him as commandment to them. And he spoke to the children of Israel all the things, say all the things, all the things. that the Lord has given to him to tell the children he was telling them on that particular day. I pray this is your season to receive the word. Amen. A word for elevation. A word for transformation. Shall they say I receive it? I receive, receive it. a word for elevation. I receive, receive it. a word for transformation. I receive you it. will get information that will bring you into your greater glory. Amen. Shall they say I believe? I believe. Hallelujah. Oh, put us together for seven of fire emojis. Seven of fire emojis. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible categorically states, and it is not me, it's not Reverend Kake who is talking. It is the Bible, it says that it came to pass in the 40th year. What is this 40th year? This man Moses was a great, um, was a type of Christ that was sent to redeem the Israelites from Egypt. 
after redeeming them, he came through out, out with them. They, they crossed the Red Sea. They went through things. And the Bible says after 40 years, the man now decided to sit down and start talking to the people. Releasing information before your greater glory, there will be information. Uh, this information could have transformed their lives, but the prophet held on to it for 40 years. Uh, and that information that would transform your life. Jesus. However, someone is sitting on it. So that person shall release by fire. Release by fire. Hey, hey. Information, information. We are in a world and a generation where information is more valuable than any mineral, than any currency. Information. Yeah. When you are able to create information, it is called, it is called content. Yeah. On the social medias, it can pull money for you. Yeah. I pray that any information you need, that will lead, cause you to leave this normal level Jesus. to a greater dimension, yes. may it be released for you. Amen. Whosoever is sitting on your information, Jesus. causing you to stagnate, Jesus. causing you to remain at that level, clap your I break out. I break out. Abakaya Barabandosa. For 40 years. The man held on to the information and the children of God remained there. But there came a time. Hey. There came a season. a season. There came a certain time hey. where the people had to now move. And the Bible says before they moved, there was a word. Hey. I came to announce to you that any information that you will need for you to make it from this level of a normal worker to a supervisor. Hey. From this level of a supervisor to a manager, yes, may that information be released. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I don't know who I am prophesying to, Jesus. but there is somebody listening to me. Jesus. You need a certain information hey, that will leave lose you or release you from being a girlfriend into a wife. Hey. You need a certain information that will release you and cause you to rise up from being a work and pay to come becoming a car owner. Amako hey. Siande. You need a certain information that will release you from this level to a greater glory. But someone is holding on to that information. And no one holding on to your information. Clap your and shall lose by fire. There are people who are watching us. You have been working in a company. Anytime there is an internal, um, um, how do you call this one? Interview for people to rise up in promotion. For whatever reason, HR will not send you that mail. Because they are holding on that to the information. By the time you realize at a, at, at, at a gathering, they are promoting people and they will say that when the information came, he applied and he got it. How come you didn't hear it? Hey. Any information hey. that you must know in your family My to God. break you from some bloodline patterns yeah. that you are, they are holding on to. Clap your and shout, release! Release! Information. 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 Information is what you need. And he says, speak to them. And Bible says, after 40 years, hey. after 40 years, after 40 years, whoever is sitting on the family information, on, there are people listening to me. Jesus. Your father is not a useless person. Jesus. Your mother is not a useless person. Hey. However, the properties they have, hey. when they died, somebody knows where they are. Hey. And they are sitting on it. Hey. Until you hear of that information, information, the family will remain and you will still be cursing your father. Hey. Meanwhile, somebody knows and they are sitting on it. Yeah. Ain't nobody with the information for my elevation. Come on, come on, lose it by fire. Lose it by fire. Say, whosoever, whosoever has, information has information for my elevation, for my elevation. as I lend my voice, I my and, voice. I pray, and I pray, lose it, lose it. By, fire. by fire. Say, oh Lord, oh Lord. my father, my maker, my father, my whosoever, whosoever is holding on to information, information for my elevation, for my elevation. Holding, on holding on to information, information for my transformation, for my transformation. As, I as I clap my hands, Father Lord, I lose that information right now, I lose that revelation right now, lift your voice and middle pray. Any information, any revelation that must come to you but someone is sitting on they are holding on to that information by the power by the efficacy of the blood father let it be loose let it be released let it be loose let it be released let it be loose let it be released let your voice and pray
you are going through something you don't know where it is coming from but there is information the day you hear of that information you can grow beyond that trouble you can grow beyond that challenge oh lord and the water and the thing that is holding on to information that can cause transformation in my life as i pray oh god i lose it right now in the name of jesus lift your voice and pray Release by fire, release by fire, release by the blood, release by the blood. Oh Lord my God, whosoever is holding on to information, is holding on to revelations, so that that can cause an elevation in my life, that can cause a transformation in my life. As I pray, my father, my maker, let them release that information right now in the name of Jesus. Pray! Oh, they have the information, but like Moses, they are holding on. No matter their reason, no matter their cause, we are saying, Father, let them release. Father, let them release. Father, let them release every information that we will need. Every information that they are holding on to. Let it be released. Let it be deployed. Information that will move you from this level to a higher level. And the information that will transform your finances. That will transform your business. As we are praying, Father, let that information be released in the name of Jesus. Anyone who is holding on to information for your greater glory, Father, we pray, let them lose it, let them release by fire now, by fire now, by fire now. Are you praying? that they are holding on to information for business transformation information for marital stability information oh lord we pray right now let them be released let them be released let them be released let them be released, them be released. Them be released. right now baby fire prayer right now information for business expansion you need it but somebody who does that information is sitting on them let them lose it let them lose it let them lose it Pray. jesus your greater glory is just ahead of you your greater glory is only information away your greater glory is only a revelation away you need an information that will move you from a short patient into a well person oh you need an information that will move you from being a cancer patient into a normal person once again today and the one who is having that information having that revelation but is sitting on it we force it out of them we force it out of them we force it out of them in the name of jesus say oh lord oh 
whosoever has information for my transformation, for my elevation, but is sitting on it. Father Lord, as we pray, we force it out. We force it out. Right now. Oh Lord, in the system, holding information for my transformation. As I clap my hands, I force it out. Oh Lord, in the man, in the woman, in the person of authority, holding on to information for my elevation and transformation. As I clap my hands, by fire, I move it out. I force it out. I force it out. Clap your hands and make a prayer. We are forcing out the information. We are forcing out the information in the name of Jesus. We are forcing out every information that can transform your life. Pakobi and Reba, they are sitting on it. Oh, whosoever is sitting on information worthy to transform your life, to review your life, to elevate your standards. We are saying that Lord Jesus, we force it out of them. We force it out of them by the power of the Holy Ghost and information about your business can cause your business to be patronized but a certain good customer but someone is sitting on it we force it out we force it out was carrying healing and it was in the form of information if he declares healing people got healed and a certain stranger came to Jesus and he said my daughter is sick heal him and Jesus said we cannot give the bread of the children to dogs and the woman said you lie back provided you have bread I will force it out of you it may not be for me but I need that information clap and say whosoever whosoever is holding on, holding on to information, information. Worthy, worthy to transform, to transform and, to and to elevate my life. My life. As, I pray, As I pray, I force it out of I them. Force I, force out. I force it out. I force it out by fire, by mercy, by glory, by the word, by favor. I force it out. Force it out. I... Force it out. Hey, my Watch this. Watch this. It is not everybody who carries information by reading to release. Hey. So the other day, the prophet Elisha, he carried the victory of Jerusalem and his people in his mouth. But the guy was unwilling. Hey. But something caused him to begin to release the prophecy. Jesus. Anyone holding information. Hey. Information for your victory. Hey. Information for your deliverance. Hey. But they are holding on to it. Hey. It's not that they hate you or anything. Hey. Some of them too, they hate you. Hey. But today we force it out of them. Amen. May they begin to release information without knowing. Amen. May they begin to have slip of tongue. May they have oral diarrhea to release information. Whatever management is planning against you, may somebody release that information. Say in the name of Jesus. Whosoever is holding on to information for my transformation and elevation but it's unwilling to release it as I pray Father Lord by your mercy by your blood by favor by the Holy Ghost by fire we force it out of them we force it out right now for your prayer we force it out of them. We force it out of them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Are you praying? Your greater glory is dependent on the information flow 
into your life. Father, as we pray, let good information flow into our life. Whosoever is holding on to our information and revelation and has refused to release, Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray and we force it out of them by your word, by the blood, by the fire. Come on, let your boy. Are you praying? Or you are doing something like prayer in the corporate world? Whosoever is sitting on an information, we force it out of them. Information for your victory. As you are in that court case, a certain person must spill some information that will cause you to have victory in that case. Oh Lord, any man, any woman holding information for my transformation, but are sitting on it, are holding on to it. As I pray, Lord, Father of oh God, we force it up, we force it up, we force it up, we force it up. Pray. Makabara badori ande belebe ayaba shata balaba bakaya da balabande reba kaya bareba so in the name of Jesus may the Lord cause them to vomit and release every information that day you will need for transformation that you need for elevation. Jesus. Clap your hands and shout, I receive my portion. I receive my portion. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the reasons why information may struggle to get to you is because there is a spirit of forgetfulness operating. Hey. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mordecai was on a certain level of glory. Hey. On that level of glory, he was always fighting uh, Haman. Haman was always fighting him for whatever reason. But one day, unknown to Haman and unknown to Mordecai, there was an information hidden from the king Push that it. could cause the, uh, 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 Mordecai's life to be transformed instantaneously. But that information had been forgotten by the entire country. Come on now. The night the king called for the book of remembrance, mm. that same night, mm. Mordecai's elevation, Mordecai's transformation, yes. Mordecai's promotion hey. was planned. Yes. I pray that may the Lord bring into reminder Come on now. everything that needs to bring you into elevation Amen. and into honor. Clap as I say in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Wherever I have been forgotten. Father Lord, Father Lord, let there be, let there be a divine remembrance. Right now, right now, I can't feel you say, Oh Lord, oh Lord wherever I have been forgotten, in the corridors of power, in the corridors of decision making, as I pray, Father Lord, let my life, let my ministry be remembered. Let there be divine remembrance to my advantage. Lift your voice and begin to pray right now. Wherever you have been forgotten, there is an information that must be used to bless you. But men have forgotten. They have forgotten that you are there. When a good man is around, they forget to remind to recommend you. But today, may you be remind, remembered, even in the name of Jesus. When some opportunities come, they forget about you. But today, may they not cause a divine remembrance. Oh Lord, let men remember me for good. Oh Lord, let people remember me for good. Oh Lord, let the heavens remember me for good. Lift your voice and pray. You will be remembered for good. You will be remembered for favor. You will be remembered for honor. In the name of Jesus. Oh, for you to enter into your greater glory. Information must flow. Information must be released. My father, my maker, may we be remembered. Let our viewers be remembered. Let our sons and daughters be remembered. May they be remembered for honor. Remembered for promotion. Remembered for glory. Are you praying? Hey. 
You will not be forgotten. Divine remembrance. Divine remembrance. Divine remembrance. Divine remembrance. May the heavens remember you in the name of Jesus. May men remember you in the name of Jesus. Fire prayer. In the name of Jesus, say, Oh Lord, Lord. may I be remembered remembered by men men for good, good, for honor, honor, for celebration, celebration. and for glory. glory. In the name of Jesus, oh, say, Oh Lord, Lord. I provoke provoke divine remembrance remembrance by the blood blood. in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, I said information for elevation. Come on, come on, elevation on. into your greater glory. Jesus. Elevation and transformation into your greater glory. Amen. There was a young man called Joseph. Come on, Joseph always thought he was a son, only a son of a great man called Jacob. But unknown to him, he was going to be the prime minister of Egypt. Come on, and he only got that through information flow from the heavens. Jesus. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there are people whose greatness are buried because they don't have information. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, sometimes God will cause men to bring you that information. Mm. Strangers will walk up to you and release information that is critical to your elevation. Ladies and gentlemen, in the same way, God himself can visit you through dreams. God himself can visit you through visions and revelations and drop information and tell you, rise up and go and do this and that and your life will be transformed. But guess what the enemy has done? He has ensured that your dreams have become some way. You don't even dream again. Oh, that, no, what that. May the Lord deliver you. May the Lord remove you from that pattern. You will dream again. You will receive information. You will receive vision. A whole man called um, um, Pharaoh of Egypt, the king of Egypt, had a dream. And that dream was an information of what was to come. Hey! What is the prayer topic? Come on now. Oh Lord, oh Jesus. As, I pray, as I pray, let information hey. for elevation mm. locate me. Come on hey! Come oh on. Lord, as I pray, yes, let information for transformation hey. locate me. Hey. Lord, as I pray, hey. let revelation for, for elevation hey. locate me. Let it find me wherever I am. Say, my father, my maker, maker, as I clap my hands and I pray, pray. let revelations revelations and information information for elevation, for for transformation, for for promotion, promotion. locate me now, locate me now, fire prayer now. for elevation. May it find you. Whether you like it or not, whether they are willing or not, may it find you right now. Information that will bring you into the place of management and power. May it find you in the name of Jesus. Fire prayer! Information for elevation, locate me. Information for transformation, locate me. Information for uh, elevation, locate me. Revelation for transformation. Find me now. Find me now. Find me now. Find me now. Pray. Name of Jesus. Jesus. May 
Where information that will move you from poverty into prosperity locate you now. Yes. May information that will move you from unwanted singleness into having a companion locate you now. Amen. May information that will move you from being jobless for years into being an employed person or starting a business locate you now. Amen. May the Lord bring you information Amen. for elevation, for transformation, and for promotion. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. My name has been Reverend Carlistos. Kafri Agbeke, yours truly, Reverend Kake. With my team and myself from the palace, we say, do have a sad day. We love you.